Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius October 3, 2022. You're focusing on partnership or one-on-one -on -one interactions more than usual today. You're bringing a spirit of acceptance to your relationships and enjoying collaboration. However, a Venus-Jupiter opposition is in play today and tomorrow. And, through disagreement or dilemmas and perhaps some stretching of your imagination, you'll arrive at a better understanding of a situation. In the meantime, pushing your limits is a temptation. You can experience exaggeration or drama with friends or lovers but should watch for overstating. Look for ways to improve your satisfaction levels if you're craving a feeling of more connectedness. Ideally, you're aiming just a little higher for a connection or opportunity, which can work in your favor. Venus has been ignited, so pour more gasoline on her and let her dance in the flames. You love passionate romance more than almost anything, and this is exactly what is in store for you now. Since she began her several-week venture through here, you have been especially favored in all matters of the heart. This is one of the best times of the year for singles to reach out to new options and mingle. Find someone who is feisty, fun, and fills you with excitement. For those committed, be sure to surprise your partner with something fresh. Where could your professional commitments lead to? Now that the moon is in your opposite sign, Sagittarius, you may feel more excited about the potential possibilities you and your arrangements could explore together. There might be an enthralling possibility that you and your colleague could commit to. One of your agreements or contracts could also be expanded upon, leading towards something greater than previously imagined. Although you may want to jump in, you may want to look before you leap. Entertain your options, but wait until post-Mercury retrograde to make a decision. In the lead-up to the moon's return to your financial sector tomorrow, this is an important point in any month for listening to your gut but without overthinking things. This is a chance to tune into a station that won't start broadcasting until tomorrow. As the last visit before Pluto turns direct here next week, this last visit while in retrograde motion will be especially important. The structure in which to play and work was all organized for you in kindergarten. This is not to belittle any feelings you may have of being out of control, it is to remind you of the importance of structure. The present planetary configuration helps you to set the necessary boundaries whatever is right for you for your health. Structure needs to be flexible but very, very strong. Try to enjoy the process of integrating structure into your life. You will be supported in your love life, but you will also be going through a period of work and great responsibility. You may have some problems with those you work with because they have some revolutionary ideas concerning work that will generate some conflicts. You appreciate a certain amount of change and newness but refuse to question how things have been set up by some of your family and friends. You like to hang on to what you know and so find comfort in the family nest. It has been six weeks to the day since Mars, the planet of passion and the warrior planet of the cosmos returned for what is normally a six-week visit to Gemini. However, there are not only no signs that Mars is preparing to leave he is slowing down, something that will keep him here for the rest of the year. It is as Mars' friendly aspect to Saturn in an adventurous part of your chart starts to separate that you have a glimpse of what lies ahead, with this just the start of a six-month partnership. At the same time that Venus, the planet of love is settling into her early days in your romantic sector the moon is making its monthly visit to your relationship sector. While there is no planetary activity on the relationship front, as well as a chance to become more emotionally engaged this is a chance for your relationships to benefit from the early days of what can be the most romantically charged weeks of any year. Our eyes in the sky. A Mercury retrograde phase can be notorious for causing mixed messages, misunderstandings, and mistakes but there can be real advantages and that has been the case for the planet of communications short double dip back into your relationship sector. With the support of Uranus, in retrograde motion in your communication sector and Pluto, who moves into his final seven days in retrograde motion in your friendship sector today, this has been a valuable chance to give your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. 
As Mercury turns direct the focus shifts to moving forward. It was just over a week ago that Mercury retrograde back into your relationship sector with a chance to give your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. Mercury's direct turn today shifts the focus back onto the future, with another nine days to work with the planet of communication before he leaves again. Today adds perfect symbolism to the beginning of the month. A vibrant waxing moon in Sagittarius is an absolutely fantastic way to open up an energetic portal to illuminate the greater aspects of one's life. This is a lesson in leadership for many, and it can be a release of the old ways in the collective struggle. Sagittarius energy asks you to open your mind to new possibilities and walk away from outdated approaches in every realm of life. Everyone is really going to feel this lunar wave, and it might mean that your inner rebel will take priority over other people's expectations. This is also a vibration that could trigger you to step out of the normal way of doing things. Some people might show their inner rage in some way. This moon triggers our solar plexus chakra, asking us to purify and cleanse our anger. The wounds are still here, and some of them are meant to be here for life. In fact, the lesson is to take the path that others are too afraid to walk down, knowing that you might be doing this alone. This is the cost of breaking societal norms. It can be a lonely process, but at the end of the day you'll be grateful for these cosmically aligned shifts. In the morning, the Sagittarius moon sextiles Saturn in Aquarius, offering an emotionally steady start to the day. Under this influence, we are introspective, pondering life's meaning. We wish to make our mark on the world, and with this idealistic aspiration tempered by a pragmatic strategy, we have a good chance of doing so. Hard work is taken up in the spirit of adventure. Old problems can be tackled with a novel approach. It's a good time to speak to elders and take a cue from their playbooks. Discover the causes that drove those who came before you to make a difference. What was their inspiration? Following this, the moon opposes Mars in Gemini, provoking irritation. We've established our morning plan with the intent to make headway, but distractions push us off course. People may require our assistance. Although we want to help, we also feel put out. Why can't they figure this out themselves? Instead of succumbing to frustration, consider temporarily delaying personal plans to aid others. We won't get much accomplished during this commotion anyhow. It's best to address this issue and return to our own interests when things have calmed down.